If people are feeling that they're not motivated or as motivated as they would like to be, there's a key step that people need to take, which is to start focusing on the craving aspect and dopamine. Because if you can make enough dopamine, you can motivate, you can actually crave moving through challenge. So we could talk about how to do that. But just to underscore how powerful this relationship is between motivation and dopamine, there was an experiment that was done. It was been done in rats but it's also essentially been done in humans through naturally occurring things where basically if you put a rat next to a lever with some juice or or even with you know something really really good that a rat likes they will press that lever for that delicious tasting thing and they get pleasure from it but if you take a rat and you deplete it of dopamine and you move that lever one rat length away it won't even move one length of its own body right a few inches to hit that lever and people are the same way. You can still experience pleasure without dopamine, but you won't get up off your couch. You won't challenge yourself to go talk to somebody you wanna to talk to. You won't apply for a job. You won't pursue the new uh, you know, fitness uh, protocol, et cetera. So dopamine is about craving of pleasure. It's not pleasure itself. And fear comes from this pathway, right? This pathway of dopamine into epinephrine. And the way to think about fear is it's just one other dimension of motivation. And we can talk more about that. But if people are living in fear, it is absolutely essential to understand that developing some sense of craving, even if it feels scary, you know, wanting something but being afraid to pursue it, that's the, the trigger for these molecules to start being released and to move towards it. But we've all sort of um, been told or conditioned that if we feel fearful, that that's a sign that we should back away or stand still. And biologically, that's just not true. So if people are feeling paralyzed in fear or they are feeling as if they, you know, are unmotivated, it's absolutely essential that they identify identify some kernel, some little bit of something that draws them forward. And if they feel that agitation, the kind of elevated heart rate, the anxiety, a little bit of sweating, this kind of thing, you know, just imagining that they want that thing, that's great. Those are the molecules that I'm talking about starting to kick into gear. But for some reason, most people start feeling those sensations and they start freezing up or backing away. I hope that was clear.